Hello. Uh, all right, this is a brief little overview of uh, Stolen Season, the Stolen Season Project. Um, I did the Stolen Season Project about uh, in the mid-2000s. I was getting to a point when I, um, it became possible for me to have enough, I guess, have enough money and the technology was available to actually like, make your own CDs. Like, I could make my own album, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I thought I would do that as kind of a vehicle for the writing. That's pretty much all that any of the stuff I do is for. It's just like a way to get the songs out there because I just want to get... Uh, I just want to be a writer. I always just want to be a writer. And it was just a way to get the songs out there. So, uh, I started combing together all these songs and I started writing songs for it. It kind of just took shape over a little bit of time. It, it's... It's a little more sad than I want it to be. I just am better at writing the slow songs, I guess. But uh, most of it was, well, actually all of it was recorded on, I don't know how many of you guys know what this is, but an Akai DPS-12 machine, A-K-I-A, -A, that's the company, DPS-12, that was the machine. I had two of those synced together. They both took like one gig jazz discs. I don't know how many of you know what I'm talking about, but it was... It was uh, it was interesting, and I did almost all the recording in my closet in several apartments in Florida, um, and uh, the uh, everything was edited and mixed and the whole thing on a screen like this big. Everything was it was oh my gosh! Considering what we can do now, it just it just floors me. But uh, yeah, it took uh, quite a while for many reasons, um, and I was pretty happy with it when it was done, I mean, I, I like the songs on it, it's, it's, it's what it is, so, uh, yeah, I've, I've, we've remastered everything also, so that's what's on the site now, what's on the site now is those recordings, but we kind of ran them through a bunch of stuff, tried to beef them up, and, and try to make them sound a little fuller than the original, original versions, um, that's kind of it, it was just, again, just a bunch of songs I was writing at the time to try to get people to uh, to listen to maybe getting covered. It's really great, though, because the Stolen Season record, once it was done, I sent it to everybody. The only person who showed any interest, really, was John Kibble, and John Kibble liked the songs, which is exactly what I wanted, somebody to like the songs and had his band start covering my songs, and that's kind of the stepping stone toward something else, which is pretty much what I was after, so that's pretty great. Um, the term Stolen Season... Is really pretentious, but I'm pretty sure, I'm not even sure about this, but I'm pretty sure that it's Shakespeare. Uh, it was, this is not real life, it is but a stolen season. For some reason that always stuck with me, and I'm not even sure it's Shakespeare. I think it is. Uh, I don't want to look it up, because I don't want to be wrong and, 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 uh, and mess with my mind, so. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know how interesting that was, but it's a collection of tunes that uh, I'm, I'm mostly happy with, and uh, yeah, that's how that came about. Anything else to say? Hmm. No, I don't think so. That's kind of it. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.